<laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's, to today's very short episode. It's um, just to uh, teach you the techniques that are the main setups that I've used in the last month um, to set up my guillotines. They're not really that common, but I hope you enjoy them anyways. I like to do thing. I like to surprise my opponent from sit in situations that they don't ordinarily see coming. Like when you're in bottom side control, nobody expects you to uh, get out and choke the other person right away. Or from the back mount, everybody expects you to either get the I don't know rear naked choke, maybe an armbar, maybe a triangle, but people don't usually go for guillotines, or at least or at least I haven't seen it as much. <laughs> Um, this monthly challenge last month has taught me, other than really uh, how to do guillotines, I've done them before, I learned the technique, but I never really practiced it. So in this case, I was really able to, um, to focus on it to the point where it actually worked. Before, I would always give up first. And that brings me to the second point this taught me, is that not, I have to really go for it. I have to work for it. Some, like, in the beginning, I would always just try to move on to another submission. But once I forced myself to forced myself to actually go for it, I got the guillotines much easier. And as I practiced, I got them easier and easier and easier. And eventually, I got them on some of my, some people that are my level, um, my training partners that really, really, really push me hard. And the last thing that I learned from this monthly uh, challenge is that. Your position versus the position of your bo of your opponent's body doesn't really matter as much. Um, if you have a good squeeze, you can finish it from bottom half guard, top half guard, um, from turtle position, from the guard, from the mount. It all depends on how you apply pressure. And in this case, I generally like to use my elbows. One thing I didn't do in this video that I wish I would have done is showing you how to do the guillotine properly, but I did that in last month's episode anyways. So uh, if you really wanna know how I finish my guillotines, just check out the episode from the month before, um, or check out uh, Eddie Bravo's way of teaching a guillotine, or Marcel Garcia's way of teaching, teaching a guillotine, because um, I think it, I, uh, I got it from Eddie Bravo, and Eddie Bravo got it from Marcelo Garcia, from watching Marcelo Garcia, and uh, yeah. That's why he calls it a Marcelo team and I do too. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the techniques. Uh, follow, like, subscribe, share this. I don't know, whatever you want to do, do it. And um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Enjoy. For this position, we start in bottom side mount. I get both of my hands to one side, do a pendulum motion, so until I swing up, grab the neck right away, finish up the guillotine from the guard. This time we start in knee on belly. I pull his head up or he reaches uh, towards my leg. In either case, my hand moves around his neck. I tripod with my head, reach for the guillotine, put my elbow on his shoulder and squeeze. Here we start in back mount. I reach through the far side arm. And as I unleash my hooks and he turns into me, I sink in the guillotine and finish with the elbow on the shoulders. Look up to the sky, hide a little smile in the 